Cannes Lyon was always one of the big get-togethers for the advertising world, but now it is turning into a kind of South by Southwest type of event in France, where different media worlds meet. Kayla Tausche takes us to the south of France. Lions started as the advertising industry's response to the Cannes Film Festival, but it's really morphed into a who's who of the tech and media world as all of those worlds have collided. You have the legacy broadcasters touting their foothold in digital, while hot young upstarts like Vice and Snapchat are touting their expansion and momentum. It's a good time to expand. Um, you know, millennials just took over from baby boomers as the largest cohort in the world, and we're a millennial brand, so there's a lot of demand. So we just announced uh, 50 new networks uh, around the world, 50 different countries. With conference goers buzzing about the future of Viacom, Sir Martin Sorrell, chairman and CEO of WPP, which is a client of Viacom's, as well as his wife being on the Viacom board, we got his take on how he sees the situation unfolding. We have a relationship with Viacom, a significant relationship with Viacom in terms of we're buying media on behalf of our clients. Does that relationship depend on Philippe Damon remaining CEO? What do you expect? No, no, no. The, 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 it depends on uh, the, the value that Viacom and indeed any other television group delivers to our clients. Facebook's ad chief announcing Instagram hit a milestone of 500 million monthly active users. The exciting thing is that this last 100 million have joined faster than the prior 100 million. So we're seeing tremendous momentum around the world and enthusiasm for a platform that is all about visual communications and discovery. Not to be outdone, Twitter's COO Adam Bain voicing optimism for his company's product pipeline amid growing criticism. We're we're excited about video because uh, video is great for people on Twitter. It's great for publishers that put content on there. Uh, and certainly it's great for marketers. It's a, a terrific creative canvas for advertisers. And ultimately on the ROI side, we've shown that advertisers get better returns when they use video in their ad campaigns than even traditional promoted tweets. An eventful week that may only look like a day at the beach. Executives say it's one of their most productive weeks of the year. Most conversations about deals start here. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kayla Tausche in Cannes.